Hi friends, today we are going to talk about layout uh, that you can select or you can change in a uh, standard SAP transaction tool. Okay, so what I'll go, what I'll be doing is I'll go to FBL 5N. Okay, generally I go to FBL 1N, which is the vendor. I'll just for the change, I'll just go to the customer. Okay, and here I'll just execute, and here you will see all these different fields are already there now here if you want to change to bring in some more fields so this is not only the fields that are available there are more fields that are available okay so what you can do is uh, you can click on suppose this one this button and here you can see there are things like the customer name and all those things so if i click here and i go here and i click copy and here you see the name one is there but for some reason it's not populated now suppose you want to arrange this so you want to probably see the dollar amount here at this point so what you can do you can click here and you can see the amount in local currency and you can start clicking on you can drag this or you can say the position you can change it to suppose after so i'll put five okay and the moment i do five so you can see it comes here and it got flipped now what happens is if i go back hit the back button and i come back again this this whatever changes i made didn't get saved so how can i save it so again i'll click on this and what i will do is i'll put the amount and i'll put here i'll put probably five okay and i press copy and now this amount is there now what i'm going to do is i click on save so always if anything that starts with slash it's a layout that is global don't mess this up create your own layout so that no one you are not messing someone else's layout and no one will mess your layout that's the most important so here i will say um, amount okay so i'll just put amount and here you will select user specific this is in some other language so i'll just put amount okay and I'll click save okay so the next time so what happens is this has been created now if i go here and here i can select my layout so i can go here and you can see this is the layout i chose okay and i execute and voila you can see the local currency has come not on the other side okay so this is very very important and this way you can save your layout and all those things and also you can do other stuff right so if i go into change layout here you can you can bring in other things you can bring the other fields as and when you need it okay so this is very important and again as i said you should not um you should not be using uh the the layout for the global one and mess other people's up so you can always create yours so that no one can mess up your own layout this is very common and you should be taking care of this okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great day